Hey y'all, so I have been back to work. I've been having a great time. Last night I spent in Phoenix, Arizona. My layover was very short. I wasn't able to do much other than stop by the restaurant in the hotel, had a beverage, had a little bit of uh, bite to eat, and then flew out this morning. So I'm now back in Dallas, Texas, and I'm getting hungry because one of my favorite YouTubers, Mikey Chen, does a lot of Korean food, so I have been craving Korean food again. I know y'all, I do a lot of Korean food already. It's one of my favorite dishes. It's one of my favorite cuisines. It's one of my favorite locations. I lived there for almost three years. So, a friend of mine and I are gonna go do Korean barbecue again tonight here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And you know what? Let's roll that intro. If there was smell of vision my goodness. Oh, yummy. It's deliciously smell. Oh, I can't wait. Follow him? Awesome. Mm. This is not fair. It looks amazingly delicious. We got the back table. Was it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Alright, so we just sat down and we've gotten our briefing of what to do. It's $24.99. What did you say? $24? $24.99. Uh, does not include drinks, uh, tip, or anything like that. Also, he said $5 if you leave any food behind. So, do not leave food behind. Yeah, so $26.95 for dinner. Lunch is different pricing. We'll see if we can put a link down below, but talk about this website. I'm getting a little closer. Let me come closer so you can hear me. This website is California based. So it does not show much when I went on to it. Um, if there's a secret to learn a website that's smarter than me, I wasn't able to figure it out. They do have the QR code though that we can get all that information from, but before you get here, I couldn't find it. But as you saw as we walked in, this place is popping. This place is busy, and this is Jin Korean Barbecue House. So we are ready. We just put our order in, and I need a microphone. It's loud in here. I'm sorry, folks. I'm very sorry. So we ordered four meats. And I also got more kimchi and some kimchi radish uh, as well. But the four meats I ordered, uh, myself and Yubin, we both ordered the general, um, the the GEN uh, premium steak. We ordered the pork riblet, the Korean style. Uh, we ordered the Hawaiian uh, the beef bulgogi. Did we do? Did we do the Hawaiian. Hawaiian steak? Hawaiian steak. There it is. Sorry, I'm looking at the menu right now. And I want to show you this menu. Um, you just take the phone up to the TV and do it that way. But I I only have two hours here. I need four hours. I think I'm ready. So first bite is kimchi. I love kimchi. So, just want to show you the plate real quick. They just put it down, and we're getting it hot for. So as soon as our meat gets here, it's ready. So it's hot. Yeah. That's garlic. What is this? Potato. Oh, too easy. <laughs> too simple. I've never had the garlic. So that's the garlic. It's a fermented kimchi style garlic. And my friend is telling me, Yubang is telling me that it's uh, more for pork, not beef. And it's traditional at, in Korea um, where you'll get your buffets at. The buffet place I went to called Salt Buffet in Dongdaeshon, uh, South Korea, which is south of the DMZ but north of Seoul. We never had that that I'm aware of. But 
I think it's time for a trip back, find out what they have now. I'm ready for my food, <laughs> ready for my beer. I'm ready to eat. It's hard to do just with one hand. <laughs> I just did that for the camera. That's not how it normally would pour this. Here. We got our first set of food out. We got some pork riblets that were already cooked. Um, we just heated them up a little bit, but they only give you one nap, so we'd ask for more. And we had to ask for more tongs because I like my tongs clean when I flip them. For you know, I don't want to put bloody tongs in my cooked meat already. So um, this place is busy. But right now, it seems to be efficient. Thank you very much for it. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want. Um, right now, I can't quite think of anything. We're cooking the uh, the prime beef right now. Um, we didn't get any lettuce and such, but that's okay. This is the premium beef. And I'm dipping it in the uh, sesame oil and salt. So I like that flavor. That's good. So, there's not a lot of flavor in that beef though. So it's just beef. There's no salt, no pepper, just beef. Um, it's a premium cut. Um, what? I'm not quite sure. Oh well. Good. So, this tteokbokki is kind of, mm -hmm. but yeah. All right, so we're on our second round, just ordered. We're gonna try a little bit different. We're gonna get some um, red wine pork. Traveling jump seaters are here for good times and good vibes. That's what this is. And our food is just now coming again. Hawaiian steak, more bagogi just showed up in OMG. of this red wine pork. I think it's all cooked. It looks it. Yeah, like beer center? Yeah. 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 Yeah.